Hi, I'm Corinne with Thompson RV in Pendleton, Oregon. Today I'm standing in a brand new 2023 Backcountry 24 KRS model built by Outdoors RV. So Outdoors RV, if you're not familiar, they are known for their quality of construction, their off-road capability, and then also their Four Seasons package. So in the RV world, they definitely have this little niche market that is the best quality that you're gonna find when you're out shopping for an RV. So they make multiple different floor plans, different trim levels, but the Backcountry series is a standalone series. They only make four floor plans as of right now, but they all have built-in generators and solar panels and also the 100 gallons of fresh water. So there's quite a few little specific things that are only gonna be found on a Backcountry series. Um, if you've been doing your research and you know the difference between mountain and titanium, a Backcountry is going to be like a mountain series trim level but then with backcountry specific options on top of that. So right now they make four floor plans, a 20 footer with no slide out, that's called the 20 BD, a little 21 RWS, um, that's gonna have a slide out, but it's, it's a model that has just a dinette, no sofa. Then the 24 KRS I would say is probably our most popular and that's because overall length is only 28 foot eight inches, but you have the dinette plus the sofa um, as well as a made down queen bed that they all have, but you have two seating areas, but still in a fairly small package. And then the fourth floor plan they make is the 28 DBS. So that's gonna be their bunk bed model. So with that being said, um, some of the specific features that you would find on a backcountry, like I said, 100 gallons of water, a pistol safe next to the bed. Um, you're gonna get the uh, ax and shovel holder in the front compartment, I'll show you that later. You get a pull out tray but mainly that generator. So that's gonna be the main thing that's gonna set this apart from everything else. All of the Outdoors RV products, you can add up to 510 watts of solar. This one comes standard with one paddle already installed. You can add two or three, right, total. So you can do that on any of the Outdoors RV, but none of them are gonna have a built-in gen like this one does. So that generator is gonna come in handy when you're boondocking. And let's say it's really hot, you wanna run the air conditioner or the microwave or something else that runs on 110 power only that's when that's gonna set you apart from just having solar, right? So you're gonna start up your generator, have air conditioning, have all the power you need right at your fingertips. So this is the rear kitchen model. So speaking of that generator, when you first walk in the door, you're gonna have kind of your control center. So you can flip on your light switches. You've got your awning, your slide out switch. Um, your, this is where you're gonna see what the levels are on your tanks. And then here is the start button for your propane generator. This backcountry series also comes with two 10 gallon propane tanks. So larger tanks than normal. And that's partly because you've got the generator on board and it is an LP generator. We also option all of ours in, even though Outdoors RV has a wonderful four seasons package with fully enclosed heated underbelly, dual pane windows, all of that. We also option in the 12 volt heat pad. Just the other day, I had a customer that called me and asked me what exactly you would use that for. So let's say you're going somewhere in the dead of winter. Well, obviously you don't need to pack gray and black water. So you would dump those before you go. But if you have to pack your water to get to where you're going, because you need water once you arrive there, you can't fill up, you're gonna have that stagnant fresh water in that tank. As you're driving down the road, it's going to freeze because you're not running your furnace to keep it heated. So the 12 volt heat pad you would kick on You've got the charge line coming off of your truck. It's running that 12 volt power and it's gonna keep your fresh water tank from freezing. Once you get to your destination, of course, you're gonna be in the trailer, so you're gonna turn on your heat and then that's gonna keep that whole underbelly uh, warm so you won't need the 12 volt heat pad at that point. So it's mainly for driving down the road in cold temperatures. So again, this is a rear kitchen model. You've got your rear fridge right here, microwave, stove with the glass top, um, one thing that's really important to note when we're talking about a rear kitchen, over the years, I've heard it all from, you know, rear kitchens bounce too much, everything's gonna fly out of the cabinets, right? So the, the huge part of Outdoors RV and their claim to fame is that they're one of the only manufacturers that actually builds their own chassis. That's gonna come in really handy in a model like this when they build a, a chassis specifically for a rear kitchen. So everything is weighted differently. If you're gonna go out and buy a cheaper kitchen, sure, you might have those, those uh, things that people talk about with rear kitchens, but not in an Outdoors RV product. Every floor plan, every frame is built specifically for that floor plan. 
So rather than a cookie cutter frame where a 26 footer just goes on a 26 foot frame, doesn't matter if it's a rear kitchen or a rear lounge, right? Obviously you're not getting the best framework if you do something like that. They build each chassis and design them specifically per floor plan. So not only are you gonna get a much better ride, plus all the good suspension that they put on, but they're specifically designed for having a rear kitchen model. So Outdoors RV makes lots of rear kitchen models and they all have great reviews. I've never had anybody have a problem in one of these, this specific brand. Um, so back here, you've got lots of overhead storage. You've got a bank of three drawers right here. And what's super important to note is that just for 2023, they went to solid hardwood drawers. So another thing that Outdoors RV is known for is their quality of cabinet construction. So industry standard, everything is stapled together. I mean, that doesn't seem like a good idea to me, but most trailer manufacturers staple their cabinets together. Outdoors RV, everything is screwed together, which seems like a no brainer, but then everything's solid hardwood. For years, these were vinyl wrapped. They're now solid hardwood. So that's gonna be, um, that's a pretty big thing. Everybody's been asking for it. And so they, they did it. Spice rack, you get the high arc faucet couple of 110 outlets and then outdoors rv in all of their models uses the stainless steel farm sink and then it has the little protective rack in the bottom and then always you get the nice thick solid surface countertops with the sink covers this is really handy in a model like this when you need a little bit more counter space you can use this glass stove top for counter space if you're not cooking and then also you can keep one side in and have dishes underneath um, just to give you a little bit extra space. Outdoors RV is also known for their mountain dinette. So the table is super sturdy. This makes into a bed. You've got nice thick four inch foam cushions and it's high density foam. So many trailers, you know, after the first couple times of sitting in them, you're gonna have really big divots or you can feel, um, you know, you can feel the bottom, you can feel the construction. And with that being said, it's been a while since I've showed everybody a dinette. So most trailers out there are going to have a super thin piece of paneling on the dinette. This is actually the route out from the window. So this is the wall construction that Outdoors RV does. Two inch virgin foam in the, for the insulation, your fiberglass exterior, and then this is actually your wall paneling, right? So then they cut out the windows with a CNC machine. So everything's perfect. They route out the windows, they recycle those. And that is your dinette base, which is four times as thick as what most people are using out there. So then on top of that, you get the four inch foam and a high quality dinette. This also makes into a bed in the backcountry series. Here in what they would consider the living area, you're gonna get the slow rise blackout shades. Under each dinette booth, you also have a big pot and pan drawer that does lock. And then there's a little extra storage on each side. Um, it's just a little harder to access because you do have to take off the cushions to get to it. So you're gonna put stuff there that you don't need to get to all the time. This slide out is slightly larger than your typical um, 24 foot rear kitchen because they've added in the TV cabinet right here, which does give you really good access to view from the theater seating. Uh, you can get theater seating or the sleeper sofa. At Thompson RV, we option them all in with the theater seating, but you can get the sleeper sofa here as well. You also have more storage up here. A lot of people compare this model to the Mountain Series Timber Ridge 24 RKS little confusing. That's called an RKS. This one's called a KRS. Uh, the floor plans are just slightly different. So to about here, they're the same, but on the RKS right here, you would get this really large bank of cabinets. And that is sometimes what people like about it. This one, you have hanging storage here, or you can use it as a pantry. So you gain a little bit of that uh, closet space back that you would get in that RKS. And then over here, underneath the TV, this storage area is huge. So what you lose from the RKS when you get that big pantry, you're actually gaining it back here. It's just a little bit different shuffle of space. Personally, I like this floor plan better because the way they extended this slide out to give you a better TV angle, but then also because the bathroom. 
So in the RKS, you get a much smaller bathroom, which is fine. Some people like that. This one, you have a little bit more private bedroom with a door instead of a curtain. And then you get two doors into the bathroom. All of the backcountry models have a full 60 by 80 queen size mattress. You can lift up the bed and you have under bed storage. And then down below that, you have a drawer on each side. And then they've put in a little um, nook right here. So when you come into the bedroom, you can kick your shoes off underneath there and kick them out of the way so you're not tripping on them as you walk around the bed. We option in the Max Air Deluxe vent fans on all of ours. So the bedroom uh, has a remote. That way you don't have to stand on the bed to operate the fan. So it's 10 speeds, fully automatic. It has a built-in rain cover, so you can run them going down the road, you can run them in the rain, intake or exhaust, and then also a thermostat so it'll turn off wherever you have it set so it won't blow cold air if it gets chilly at night. Each nightstand is fairly long in the Backcountry series, and that's because this is actually the framework for your outside storage compartment. On each side of the bed, you have a 110 outlet, as well as a 12 volt USB port and 12 volt uh, cigarette style outlet. You get a shirt ward on each side of the bed as well as overhead cabinets. Because this unit comes equipped with solar, the ZAMP charge controller is gonna go right there above the bed. You get the padded headboard, which just adds a little decoration to the trailer and you get a light on each side of the bed. The Backcountry series also comes with the bedside pistol safe. Rear kitchen models typically have a door in the back and then a front door, so this one has that as well. And then for 2023, they just tinted this window, which is a really nice feature to have. And this is um, a Jack and Jill style bathroom, so people can access it from the living room area, and then you also have a sliding door so you can access it from the bedroom. This bathroom has two entrances, one from the living area and one from the bedroom area. You've got a porcelain toilet, a heat duct, as well as an air conditioning duct, towel hooks, Max Air Deluxe vent fan, a skylight over the glass shower. You've got a hardwood medicine cabinet, stainless steel sink, and then also a cabinet underneath the vanity. When traveling down the road with the slide out in, as you can see, I can still come in the back door, access the fridge, the microwave, the stove, everything in the rear, the sink. Um, you could even sit and watch TV. You just can't get to the bathroom from this door. So you would just pop in through the front door in the bedroom and go to the bathroom through that way. On the 24 KRS, new for 2023, is going to be the brand new Backcountry logo. Uh, personally, I love the new modern design that they did to the front. I've talked about this in a lot of videos. This is our powder coated aluminum locking box. So if you don't want your batteries to get stolen, um, believe it or not, there's nothing out there on the market that's made. We have this custom made here in town by a local company that's completely family owned and operated. So that's pretty cool. So it has a lock on it, it's aluminum and it's powder coated and that'll keep your batteries safe, whether you go with four six volt AGMs or three heated Battleborn Lithiums. You get on all outdoors RV, because they build their own frames, the A-frame is integrated right into the eight inch I-beam chassis, right? So on a lot of uh, lesser quality products, you're gonna see the trailer frame and then they take the A-frame and they just tack weld it to the bottom. Well, clearly that's not gonna be overly safe. It's not gonna give you a good tow um, and it's just not good for longevity. So this is gonna be integrated right into that uh, chassis. And because all of the back countries, 20 foot all the way to 28 foot are all built on that big eight inch I-beam chassis, you're gonna get the full fiberglass front cap that doesn't have seams right here at the edge. It also has the rubberized um, bed coating on it to protect the fiberglass from rock chips. Right here, you can see the toy lock. That's part of the mountain storage system, which is an option. And people always get confused. Well, what does mountain storage system mean? Well, it's just an option that's a package, the two inch receiver hitch on the back that holds up to 250 pounds, and then also the toy lock on the front. So let's say you pack your e-bikes on the back, you get to where you're going, you wanna leave your campsite, but you don't want your bikes to get stolen, you can lock them up with this cable lock. Because of the propane generator, you're gonna get two 10 gallon propane tanks on the Backcountry series, front power jack, and then this is your hitch caddy, 
So it holds your seven way cord, safety chains and breakaway cable up off the ground when not in use. So over here we have the Onan 3600 LP generator. Um, I get asked often why it's not the 4000 watt. Well, the 4000 watt would be the gasoline version. When you convert it to LP, it's a 3600 and it has the same amount of power. Slam latch, luggage doors, magnetic catches. Outdoors RV, part of their claim to fame with their Four Seasons package is going to be dual pane windows are standard on everything. So not only does that help with the heat and the cold air, but also road noise. Right over here, you've got an access hatch to access your black tank valve and then also your gray tank valve. Because this is a rear kitchen model, you actually get two 40 gallon grays. So there's one right here that's gonna be tied into the same tube that you would drain your black water. And then you've got a gray tank also in the back. So that gives you a total of 80 gallons of gray um, capacity. You've got a light right here and then as well as your Santa flush. So the Santa flush, you hook a hose up to it once you've done, you're done draining the black and the gray and it's gonna rinse out that black tank. One thing I wanna note is that it's not an option from the factory, but the slide out topper. So you will see those on the titanium series as standard. On the mountain or the back country, they're not an option, but they're definitely an option once the trailer gets to us. And so that is a little awning that's gonna slide out with the slide out to keep all the debris off the top of the roof of the slide out. Technically, you're supposed to get up and brush it off before you ever pull it back in. The slide out topper just keeps everything off of it so you never have to worry. Back here uh, on the Backcountry Series specifically, you're going to get the pressure washer. So you've got a quick release spray port right here with a little hose, a separate pump specifically for this that's going to give you more pressure. So it's more like a pressure washer. Again, on their Four Seasons package, they don't cut any corners. Most trailers have a very thin piece of plastic that covers their outside shower door. Well, obviously freezing cold air, that's gonna be the weakest link. They do a one inch thick insulated door to cover theirs. This is where you would do your city water. So if you don't wanna pack hundred gallons of water and you're going to a park, you would just connect your city water right here. 10 gallon rapid recovery water heater. Outdoors RV uses a nice big solid bumper on the back and you can store your sewer hose in this. And then here is that mountain storage package. This is the receiver hitch. Right here, you've got your twist lock 30 amp uh, cord that's gonna power the trailer if you're in a park. Cable and satellite hookups, a big tube ladder. This is a really nice thing to have because you do need to get up and check your roof sealant once every six months. And the flimsy ladders that most companies put on are, it's a little bit scary getting on and off your roof. And that's even if you have a walk on roof. Everything Outdoors RV is solid plywood, full walk on roof. Honestly, it doesn't even matter how much you weigh. They truly are a, a full walk on roof. Right here is access to your furnace. On so many trailers, you'll just see this little piece. Well, the problem with that is if you ever have a, a problem with your furnace, they're gonna have to take it apart from the inside. It's almost like a ship in a bottle, honestly. So like, if you have this access panel, it costs a little bit more money for Outdoors RV to add that to it. But if you ever need to access the furnace, this whole thing just pulls out. Easy access pops right back in. Spare tire with a very snazzy cover. Right here, you've got access and venting to the back of your refrigerator. And then because this is a rear kitchen model, as I stated on the inside, you're gonna have two entry doors. Here's your main entry door into the kitchen with the grab bar handle and triple aluminum step. And you can see from out here that they've really done a good job on tinting the two windows in the door. That was always a problem because they let in so much light, you'd have to add a shade to them. Well, now they've given you a tinted window. Outside speakers under your electric awning, metal wrap on the electric awning to protect it from the sun. 16 inch load range E tires. That's all standard on the Backcountry series from the littlest one all the way to the biggest one. As always, Outdoors RV's Off-Road X4 suspension package. So that's the More Ride CRE 3000, the heavy-duty shackles with greasable zerts, the KYB Off-Road shocks. Right here is where you're gonna fill your 100 gallons of fresh water. 110 outlets for use under your awning. This is new as about six months ago. It's called the Fire Pit Barbecue Hookup. 
So it's a quick release. And again, they give you the kayak hatch for easy access to that. This is your second entry door into your bedroom and they've given you a lend a hand grab bar handle on both. So most companies are only gonna give you one grab bar handle at best, they're giving you two. Last but not least, on the Backcountry Series, you get a very large um, compartment door and that's partly because of the generator on the other side. And then they give you this big slide out tray. That way you can access all the way to the back of the compartment. This is the spray hose I was talking about for the outside shower. Specific to the back country, you also have a shovel and ax holder right here. And then inside the compartment, you, we option all of ours with the power jacks. So not auto leveling like you would get on a titanium series, but rather than crank down jacks, you're gonna have power push button jacks. So the switches are in here along with a light, along with your battery kill switch. And then another cool thing that we suggested to them that they started adding is going to be 12 volt outlets in here. So if you have maybe a little um, 12 volt DC compressor style fridge, you now have a place to plug it in inside your compartment and that's gonna be coming on all models. Last but not least, this is your solar port for a portable ZAMP solar panel. On the roof, as I showed you in the bedroom, all the roof solar panels are gonna run through that one charge controller in the bedroom. So you can add up to 370 watt panels for a total of 510 watts. You can also get a portable solar panel up to 200 watts and plug it in right here. The ZAMP portable panels have their own built-in charge controller, so it's not gonna run through that system. It's completely separate. And then you can follow it around the trailer if the sun is moving, or let's say you're parked in the trees and you wanna run it out to the sunshine. So that's a really cool feature that they add as well. So the Backcountry Series, as you can see with all the added features, just makes it even more off-grid capable than anything you're gonna see on the market. That generator, I used one last year and it was absolutely amazing to be in the middle of nowhere. It was over 100 degrees. I pushed a button and I started up my air conditioning. So it's really nice if you have dogs, kids, you know, or you just wanna be comfortable no matter where you are, this is the trailer for you. So if you have any questions, just give us a call here at Thompson RV. We've got the number listed down below. And anybody here can help you. You don't have to just ask for me. I know I'm the one in the videos, but honestly, all the guys here are super, super knowledgeable. All of us own Outdoors RVs. We've all used them. So just let us know if you have any questions.